What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Chad. Again, thanks a ton for all of the reception, the views and stuff like that, helping people out. We have just been growing like crazy. We're over 6,000 subs now. Obviously everybody loves the no prep drag stuff and I mean, why wouldn't you? So we're out here at the industrial park. Didn't go too well last time we were out here. We had just lots of spin outs and all that kind of stuff. We got something to help that out today. One thing, that's the wireless module you saw in the B-roll. Now, offhand, this thing is great because I can use it with my iPhone. I don't have to use a tablet, all that kind of stuff. But one issue that I found already compared to the Hobby Wing is when you plug it in, nothing happens. It's locked in program mode. You actually still have to take your body off and unplug it, then it will lose its connected status and allow you to use it. Here's the app, by the way, running. So we're gonna go into programming, build the connect. It's also a little buggy. The, re the connection distance isn't that good. I definitely do not like having to plug and unplug that thing every time. I don't wanna wear out that USB port. Obviously, it could use some more development here, but if we just take a look at the data logging here from the last hit we just did, we could scroll down, check out our RPMs. If you want to, you can rotate it to uh, landscape and it won't be like super crazy. So if we go and look at uh, max RPMs I made on the last run, 45,000, battery voltage was all the way down to six volts. So we can see that this, a uh, 5.7 actually, so we can see that this battery is uh, definitely seen better days. Luckily, we've got a couple new batteries in here we can test, so that's what we're gonna do. I just loaded another profile and we're gonna swap out batteries and we're gonna give it another run. Five miles per hour. Now I've been doing a ton of testing and tuning, running gears all up and down the spectrum, trying different things with my body, couple new batteries to try out, which definitely made a big improvement. We'll cover all that in another video coming up soon. I wanna talk about the wireless link. It has helped a little bit. It makes things pretty enjoyable. It's kind of the first uh, kink I see in McLean's armor. I put online my distaste as far as the USB thing that you've seen. And a lot of other people have commented too. And then you get some people that have came in and defended it. They're moderators in a group. I don't know if they're actually team members or if they work for the company or what. I just know the only person I really know is Colin Branch and Tim Smith, of course. There's been a lot of excuses on there. They haven't really said that they couldn't override that, but the reasons why they have it is so people can't cheat at like races, uh, dirt oval carpet type of races and stuff because this ESC and firmware obviously has different applications, which I find funny since it's called the Drag Race King. And like myself, and I'm sure a lot of you that have just been into drag racing over the past year or so, never even heard of McLaren until they blew up. And I'm gonna say that there's nobody else doing their five stage control, which is making all of my fantastic results possible yet. So they've got some work to do. They need to figure out some ways to kind of cater to us. I see their pre-order system is really broken. They're having a problem getting products. Of course, everybody is kind of a bad time for that. So they should really be working on software development, I believe, and trying to cater to us and make them want to stay with the DRK and not just jump ship as soon as somebody else brings out the exact same thing and then somebody else and then somebody else because it's going to happen. It is nice on the iPhone being able to record all of your data logs or snap pictures. That way you can share them onto social media if you're one of those fast on Facebook kind of guys. Or if you just want to keep the, the data logs for yourself and then you can kind of pull up, you know, on your iPad or your iPhone and scribble on their gear ratios, temperatures, things like that. So that way you have as much data as possible. So there is definitely a, a lot more applications 
when using this with the iPhone. Uh, but if I had an Android phone or tablet or whatever, I would not even bother with this. I would just go for the Direct Connect. You can get a right angle to USB adapter from Triplight or Amazon Basics or whoever for like a couple bucks. That's about yay long. That would stay in there and then you could just kind of, you know, loop it somewhere or hot glue it into the side of your body, uh, the frame. So that way you could just plug right in without taking your body on and off. Some people say that that's not a big deal, that you're not being consistent if you don't take your body off and charge your battery every time. But if you got decent batteries, you should be able to at least make three or four hits on a battery before you start dropping. At least that's what I've noticed with my max amps. Now with some of the other ones, yes, they do go down after one to two hits. But with my max amps batteries, I've been able to you know hit them four or five times get consistent results and not see voltage dropping like crazy. You can really tell the new tires and the new battery really wants to bite. 